守るべき人を守りきる力をここで Kambangwa Minasan Kroneko Des. Okay, finally we have this new skin for Daphne from the Christmas Limited Mementos. This one. Yeah, very nice. And then before I go through about her details, I recommend that you guys stop the video from time to time and read carefully, listen carefully, and so and so. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Okay, next is about her normal attack. Okay, next is about her main ability. And for this first skill, you will move towards any location. And with this physical damage shield for 3 turns. Yeah, so this is not so bad. But then this is not for auto. Yeah, so beware. And for this second skill, it's very simple. It's a single attack and drains the opponent jewel and greatly increase her physical defense for two turns. Yeah, so basically more defense. And this skill power is depending on her physical defense. Yeah, just nice. And the damage is. And for this third skill, she will cover any allies. Within the radius of 3 for 3 turns and also increase her area attack resistance for 3 turns. Yeah, very good. And if you master her 5th gate, the radius increase to 4 instead and the skill usage increase. Yeah, so basically she can easily protect your allies and she will be using this skill from the start if you are using auto, if there is nearby allies. Yeah, otherwise she will be using any attack skill. And for this fourth skill, it's a single attack and with silent status and also reduce the enemy strike resistance and ratio inhibition for 3 turns before the skill attack. Yeah, so basically the damage will be increased and the enemy's ratio ability might not activate. Yeah, quite good. But the shooting range is only just one, so beware. And then the damage is. And for this last skill, she will have HP regen, all defense, and all status resistance greatly up for one turn. Yeah, so basically this is an emergency skill. Yeah, you can use this cover skill first and after that this skill, so that she can easily withstand the damage. But then if the enemy has the ability to remove the buff, it will be useless. Yeah, so beware. And next is about her sub ability. And for this first skill, it's not bad. You will inflict rage status on the enemies within the AoE. Yeah, only targets towards the enemies. Yeah, quite good. And for this second skill, those enemies within the AoE will have physical attack down and greatly increase their jewel consumption or jewel cost. Yeah, so this is very good for PvP as usual, but it's only for one turn. Yeah, so beware. And for this last skill, it's an area attack. And if the enemies has any bad status, the skill power increase and also reduce their all attack for 3 turns. Yeah, so this skill is not bad, especially it doesn't target your allies. And the damage is. And for the other side ability, well, maybe this skill might be not so bad because of the stun status and interrupts a cast type. Yeah, and then this is a non-type. But then this three skill, nothing much. Yeah, seriously. And then for this one, I think this skill not so bad. Yeah, increase your allies area attack resistance. And then also increase her physical attack and speed. But then she doesn't need this physical attack. Yeah, so at least if the enemies is using AOE attack, the damage should be reduced a bit. Yeah, from the allies damage. And then this skill also not bad because it will increase her move plus one. And it's a non-type. 
Yeah, but other than that, it's really nothing much. And for her racial ability, it will only activate if the enemy is using any physical damage. And she will reduce the enemy physical attack, area attack for 3 turns. And she herself will have area attack resistance and can be stacked for 5 times for 3 turns. Yeah, so basically lesser damage from the enemy's AW attack. Yeah, very nice. And the shooting range is 6. Yeah, it's considered quite big. Yeah, the animation range. And for the other rush ability, basically nothing much. Yeah, just forget about that. But this rush ability will reduce any damage. Yeah, so if the enemy is using magic damage, this might be the better choice. But then, this one should be the best. Okay, next is about her support ability. And this passive is after when you master her second gate, it will further increase her physical defense and maximum HP. And when she is besides any allies, both of them will have error attack resistance up. Yeah, so basically more resistance. Yeah, very nice. And for this passive, will increase her physical defense and HP. Yeah, so I think these two passives will be the best for her. And depends the situation you can switch this support ability with. She will be using this cover skill on your allies from the start of the map for 2 turns. But the cover area is only Diamond 3, not Diamond 4. Yeah, so beware. But at least she'll be using this skill from the start. Yeah, so just in case, if any enemies using any attacks on your allies, at least she can protect your allies. Yeah, this is only very good for PvP, most of the time. And for this passive, it only applies when your allies is besides her. And both of them will have physical defense up. Yeah, basically it's nothing much. Yeah, so either you equip with this and this, or this and this. This is compulsory, yeah. And next is about her mementos. And this will be her first own mementos. And for this leader skill, will increase HP, spread attack, physical defense, and area attack resistance. Yeah, so this is very good for Daphne, as well as any spread attacker. And for the group skill, if you fully max this mementos, it adds extra jewel cost minus by 5. Yeah, not 5%, only 5. And also reduce the physical defense debuff. Yeah, quite good. And that center resistance, also good. And next is about her BJ ability. And for this one, it will permanent increase her physical defense and reduce her jewel cost and can be stacked for 10 times when she receives any damage. Yeah, so basically if you are using her cover skill, this is very easy to achieve. Yeah. And then for this BJ ability, it's an area attack with 100% hit. Yeah, basically it's very good against the evasion unit. But other than that, it's really nothing much. And it will also target your allies. Yeah, so beware. And the damage is... And this will be her second new mementos from the Christmas event. And for the leader skill, it will greatly increase the HP instead. And with a bit physical defense and speed. Also quite good actually. Yeah, so that your allies will not die so easily. But it doesn't increase any attack. Yeah, so beware. And for the group skill, after when you fully max this mementos, it adds extra skill usage plus one. This is very, very good. And along with your regen, also good. And also all elemental resistance and bind resistance. Yeah, this is very good. But then strike attack is nothing much. Yeah. And for this BG ability, she has the ability to cover magic damage for 2 turns. Yeah, this is extremely good. Especially the cover area is also diamond 4. Yeah, just like her main ability to skill. Very nice. And also increase her area attack resistance. And what's more, her main job rash ability will have power up for 1 turn and it will activate from any magic damage instead and she will reduce the enemy magic attack instead but unlike her original rash ability it cannot be stacked for 5 times yeah it's only for 1 time so beware but anyway this is only for 1 turn and for the shooting range it's also pretty far away it's in between 5 to 12 yeah consider pretty far but this rash ability will not activate if the enemy is attacking her within 1 to 4 yeah, so beware. And then for this BG ability, it's only for Urbros. 
and the effects is totally the same as this. Yeah, it's only without the Ratchet Ability Upgrade. Yeah, very obvious. Okay, next is about her gear equipment. And this armor you can get from her Genesis e bag Chapter 5, I think. And then it will greatly increase her HP, Initial Jewel, Strong Bursts of MB, and Defend Bursts of MB. Yeah, so this armor is quite good for her. And for this weapon ability, it's a single attack and greatly increase her defense versus her MB for fighters before the skill attack. Yeah, so basically, as long as if the enemies is MB type, this is very good. Yeah, other than that, it's only just a slightly long range attack, range of 5. And then the damage is. And the good alternate choice will be this Ultima Marvel again from Ultima Limited Mementos. It will also increase her HP and physical defense and jump plus 1. This one is not bad. And with this HP regen. Uh, you also can equip with this armor from the tutorial quest if you don't have the Ultima Marvel. Yeah, also with HP regen. Yeah, so basically up to you. And this accessory is from her old first Mementos. And it will greatly increase her physical defense. Yeah, very good. And along with speed, strike attack, and area attack resistance. Yeah, so try to equip with this accessory, provided if you have her mementos. And for this weapon ability, she will have all types of resistance, except for magic resistance, until she activates the guard status. Yeah, so basically almost a permanent buff, but then this cannot be used at auto, and this buff can be removed as well. Yeah, so beware. And for this second weapon ability, it will greatly reduce all types of damage from in front. Yeah, so basically, as long as the enemy is facing Daphne, the damage will be reduced. But then, if the enemy is attacking her from the back, it'll be useless. Yeah, so beware. And if you guys don't have her mementos, this accessory is also not bad from Gear Summon, also increase her physical defense. And along with Dark Elemental Resistance and Accuracy Up. Yeah, not a bad choice. Or maybe you can equip with this accessory from the April Fool 2022 event. Yeah, and also greatly increase her defense and HP. And then defend versus her demon. And she doesn't even need the physical and magic attack. Yeah, just nice. And this weapon ability is also not bad. She can attack anyone with 1 damage. Yeah, so the main purpose is activate the Ratchet ability. Yeah. And this accessory will be from her Christmas Mementos. And it will increase her jump, Berserk and Rage Status Resistance, and Not Bad Resistance. Yeah, this is good. And this accessory also can equip by Mercedetine. Yeah, same goes to the Wipe ability. Mercedetine also can use. Very nice. And Loyal Rose. And for this Wipe ability, she will have your regen, Plus, greatly reduce any damage from the front for one turn. Yeah, so basically, this web ability can be stacked with the other web ability. Yeah, lesser damage. But then, this is not for auto. Yeah, so beware. And for the other alternate choice, this is not so bad, but it is from Sharon Limited Mementos. Greatly increase her speed. Yeah, plus 12. And with slow resistance. And also increase side and back attack. Yeah, not really that bad actually, because of the speed gradient increase. Uh, this accessory from one of the free event, it will increase strike resistance and blood resistance. And she can choose any target to select location. Yeah, but then the range is only 2, not much. Or uh, maybe we can equip with this accessory for the sake of this weapon ability. Yeah, greatly increase the resistance. Or uh, maybe we can equip with this accessory from Kaigan Reward. It will increase all the status resistance, okay. And then with area attack resistance, also quite nice. And the best part is about this weapon ability, if the enemy is using any physical damage, that's a property of recover her jewel. Yeah, also quite good for her, especially that is isn't any rage limit. Or maybe you can equip with this accessory from Gear Summon because of the clock status on herself and any ally. Yeah. Or maybe you can equip with any academy status resistance. Yeah, this for. Yeah, so basically up to you. Or uh, maybe this one. Strong versus a meal. With the charm status. <laughs> yeah. So conclusion is this.
Thank you for watching this video. See ya, Sanara. お疲れ様です。次の戦いに備えましょう。